Turn off. I heard two different things. What? One's bad and one's really bad. When one of the caretakers... You see it? Looks like there's two people looking at each other. Oh God. Oh God, wait. What's that mean? It's Heidi's I'm, I'm done, I'm done. me. Hello. Zombies. Welcome back to the ghost hunting series where we look for paranormal activity, but we might not find any. We don't fake anything, and here we aim to really answer the question of whether or not you would be left with an unexplainable experience if you were to stay in these notorious places all by yourself. Hopefully not by yourself though. Now I know you all want to be spooked, but I believe that the truth is always more entertaining than staged entertainment. And then if anything happens, it will be that much scarier knowing it is 100% real. My name is Mikey. But spelled funny, M-Y-K-I-E. And I am both a skeptic and jumpy as hell. I promise you, even if we don't find a ghost, we'll still have fun. Especially because our guest today is not a skeptic. This is Miss Heidi, AKA Buff Bunny. I'm not okay, I'm really scared. But I have ghost repellent, so I'm hoping um, if a ghost does show up, we'll scare it away. This bitch. But I also brought garlic, so. Love her, but um, I do everything in my power to find ghosts. She brought a whole kit of things to keep ghosts away from us. So I hope that I win and we find a ghost. Imagine we finally get the ghost on camera and then Heidi scares it away with her garlic. We are in a very special place because this is our 17th ghost hunting video. And the very first time we ever did one of these, Peter and I, we were in Jerusalem. Jerome, Arizona. Guess where we are today? We are back in Jerome, Arizona, but we're doing it right this time. You're not staying on the streets of Jerome, ready to be harassed by scary men running out of the darkness towards us. We are in the Jerome Grand Hotel, which is a very spooky, ominous looking hotel at the very top of the city of Jerome, which sits atop a cliffside. It looks like something right out of a movie, which is really convenient and something that you should remember for the future. I brought you a flask of holy water. This is empty. But you can fill it with this jug. <laughs> oh, it's a refillable holy water flask. It's Great. Uh, from the Jordan River. Sure it is. I got on Amazon. This place is haunted as shit, supposedly. Did you not know that? I mean, like you said it was like a good starter one to start with, so. I said this is actually a pretty intense one to start with. <laughs> shit. You also told me that you knew how to sage. I lied. <laughs> Peter, you knew how to sage? Sure. I'll be fine. I took out life insurance. That's true, she really did. <laughs> Normally, we talk about the history of the hotel. We tell you the ghost stories. However, I'm very distracted by this jar of what seems to be ointment that says, and I quote, no ghost, ghost, monster, and bad dream repellent. Good marketing. This is like lotion. But it smells good, it's peppermint. So apparently the ghosts don't like peppermint or garlic. This is not our first rodeo. It is our 17th rodeo. So we're gonna do whatever the fluff we want. Oh yeah, fluff is back, it's been a while. We're gonna do whatever the f we want, bleep it. You didn't hear anything. I heard it. She did not say fluff. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I am Freddy Krueger. It's true. Kick that leg out. Woo! Okay, let's go ghost hunting. Is that your second? Are you judging me, Peter? Yes. Is that your second? <laughs> it's early. The night is young, baby. So this place was built in 1926 as a hospital, and it was then called the United Verde Hospital. The gift shop in this hotel used to be an ER. So was this a hospital room then that we're in? Like a hospital room? I would assume so. We have two rooms. Me and Heidi's room is bigger and it smells more ghostly in there, I'll be honest. So Jerome in general, if you haven't seen the first video that we did in Jerome, then go watch it. Most of the Jerome history will be there, but the gist is this was a very booming mining town back in the day. Very, very cliche, wild west, gambling, sex workers drinking, criminals, pew, 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 etc. It was also around the height of the tuberculosis era. Supposedly over 9,000 people have died in this building. Did you know that? I, I looked up a few things, but like, that's a lot. More than half of Madison Square Garden. I measure people amounts in concert stadium venues. From the bottom of Jerome, this hotel looks really big to me. 
but it's actually not that big of a hotel. And the fact that it's smaller than I expected it to be and there are less rooms than I expected means that I think the like turnover rate of how many people were coming in and out of here and dying, if 9,000 people died here means it was a lot. It's not like it housed thousands of people and thousands died. It probably held like maybe a few hundred. I feel like not even, right? Maybe like 200. It was shut down in the 50s and then it was actually abandoned and left as is with all of the machinery for about 20 years until there was someone who bought it and a caretaker and eventually even a family leased it. The caretaker era ended when one of the caretakers... Did you hear that? Is it just a drunk person in Jerome or is it a ghost? As I was saying, the last caretaker here committed suicide. Then it was bought in the 90s and turned into a hotel. And here we are. There were stories and reports of it being haunted long before it was a hotel. The nurses back in the day used to say that this place was haunted. Besides the very unfortunate over 9,000 deaths via hospital patients, presumably, there have been some notable deaths otherwise, including a one Claude Harvey. He was a maintenance man who in 1935 was found at the bottom of the elevator shaft, crushed. Now, it is theorized that it was an accident, but it is also theorized that it was Amoida. We just don't know. As usual, we don't know. Because of that, he is thought to ride the elevator at all times. It's a spooky elevator. You have to close the double gates yourself. It's very Titanic-esque, and it, it goes when you start going up. And it's 95 years old, and it certainly feels like it's 195 years old. It also smells like ghost. And it smells like ghost. It's true. Apparently, Claude's apparition is angry. Who wouldn't be if crushed by an elevator? I'd be f***ing pissed. I'd be mad. I would haunt. I would haunt. There are some reports of like general managers who have worked here over the years that say that the spirits, quote, for the most part, are kind and some are even protective. Let's hope that's true. For Heidi's sake, I don't care. Guests have reported hearing labored breathing and wheezing. Guests have reported cats feeling cats rub up against them, hearing meows and stuff. I think it might just be a real cat. Oh, scratching at doors. You'd hate that. Oh, I would not like that. I hope that you're really soaking this in. This all might happen to us tonight. I know, as you're reading it, I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, and we're sleeping here. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) This is one of the hotels where they claim that you will see a whole ass apparition. Uh, One of which is a male doctor with a clipboard and a female nurse, as well as a female patient, all wandering the halls together. It's a pretty big claim. I know that you said 99.9%, but do you you really believe that we will see a full body apparition or maybe a group of three of them? Yeah, I don't don't think a group of three, but I feel like we're going to see something. Do ghosts not travel in packs. I'm not an expert ghost hunter. I would like to admit that again. <laughs> she loves talking directly do they, do into they them. Come in packs? Oh God, we have another four-year-old boy ghost. I honestly leave the kids out of it. They're not in limbo. They're not in between the realms. Like they're just Stop. Did you hear it? I mean, it's a little hard to hear when I have your your mics on though. Did you hear it? Oh, I just heard another thing. Did you hear it? Yep. Mikey stop. It begins. No. Let's go outside. No, oh my God, she just goes outside. Ma'am, just keep doing the intro. Heidi, this is what we're here for. Are you really going outside? Yeah, stay there. Yeah, why not? (gasps) That's because you put your sage kit on the edge of the bed. No, I didn't put the sage kit that close to the edge. I swear, look at the mic. Review the the tape. Okay, we're going outside. You're going outside, not we. Hello, ghost. (gasps) That's Mikey. (laughs) (laughs) I just heard a spooky noise, but I think it might have been a car. Oh, it it is, in fact, a car. It is a car? It's a car. It's a Jeep Wrangler. Love those. Love Jeeps. Yeah. Not only are we bringing children into this, we're bringing babies into this. Crying babies. What what did you just look at? What was that? What was above my head? What? 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 I looked at the picture of the kid on the wall. Oh, yeah. We got a little cowboy on the wall. Dude, he looks like he's looking at you no matter where you are. That's pretty spooky. Maybe that's the four-year-old ghost boy. Maybe that's why people think it. So apparently, the sound of a crying baby is frequently heard on the third and fourth floors, along with the smell of baby powder and zinc oxide, which is a very weird specific smell to claim you have smelled. What is that? Is that a recognizable smell for everyone but me? It's diaper rash smell. It's diaper rash smell. Or diaper rash cream smell. Why do you know that, Peter? Because that's what zinc oxide is. And apparently guests call the front desk about it, and they're like, yo, can you shut that baby up? And it's always coming from empty rooms. That shoot that we saw on the wall, I think that was the old incinerator shoot. Wait, that's gotta be it. I don't think it is. I guess I saw a photo online. You really killed my vibe there. Apparently there's a lot of things with lights and electricity here, lights turning off, all the lights going back on. One common report is that you can hear a gurney 
being rolled down the hallway, even on the carpets. And we thought we heard that when we were coming up the stairs earlier today. Heidi was freaking out. This says that the front office staff have seen doors opening and closing as if guests were entering and leaving the building. And actually, the man at the front desk tonight said that he saw that. He saw the doors, both of them, open at the same time. And he said that he's heard a lot of things. He's got a lot of calls. He's seen people ghostly white drop their keys on the front desk and just split in the middle of the night. That's exciting. I think that uh, Heidi's gonna be added to the list at that tonight. I will tonight. be the next person on that list. <laughs> I have done that before in the past. <laughs> That's true, she literally has. Like this video if you'd like to see us ghost hunting in Galveston, Texas, where Heidi lasted 30 minutes the last time she oh was my there. God. I do not like this video. I don't know if I could do that. Two likes and we go to Galveston, oh my Texas. God. Make it a little harder. How about, how about a thousand? <laughs> a we thousand? Can... I can get a thousand. Okay. Sure, a thousand. Five thousand. Sure, five thousand. Ten thousand. Sure, ten thousand. Fifty thousand? No. Reports of items flying off the shelf on their own, including one person reported seeing a plaque lift up off a nail on the wall and fly onto the floor in the middle of the room. There's a photo of one of the ghosts called the woman in white. Are these real photos? Are they undoctored? Are they unmanipulated, unstaged? Jury's out for me. There's one room in particular that is extremely haunted. It's room 32. Guess which room we're in. 32. Yeah. This room is apparently very haunted because there are two known suicides in this room. One notable death in this room was a former miner that had been confined to a wheelchair who reportedly climbed over the balcony railing and jumped to his death. The second notable death here is a businessman who shot himself. Are either of these confirmed? No. This night feels a lot like Lizzie Borden to me because we're getting started very late because it, it took us a long time to get here. And then we had to eat some feud and then we had to get ready. That's the gist of the ghosts and the stories. I think we should play now. I think I should get lobbed up now so I can stop doing it. Everyone's sick of it, right? You're sick of it? You're sick of it? Yeah, yeah, me too. But first, a big thank you to Semperd for sponsoring this video. Scentbird is a, <laughs> it went down my throat. It smells amazing though. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new designer fragrance or more than one every month for just $17. I am obsessed with finding unique perfumes and Scentbird makes that process incredibly easy. With each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply to try before committing to a whole bottle. They have perfumes, colognes, unisex scents, and they have over 600 designer brands to choose from like luxury brands like Gucci, to niche brands like Confessions of a Rebel. Let me tell you about some of my recent favorites I've tried. Ooh La Rouge by Christian Siriano was an unexpected favorite because I don't normally go for floral perfumes at all. But besides having top notes of White Star Jasmine, Ruby Grapefruit, and Saffron Flower, this scent has notes of Praline and Amber Wood that make it a little sweeter, a little warmer, and I liked it even more once it mixed with my body chemistry. It's the perfect summer scent. Grandmaster by Mind Games is one of the most unique perfumes I've ever smelled. Had I only sprayed this on myself once in a store, I think I would have written it off entirely, but because I had a 30 day supply of it, it had the chance to grow on me a lot. It's got top notes of black currant, rosewood, Kona coffee, wild violet, and incense that make this a very bold but sexy signature that would be really hard to forget. Sandalwood and Oak by Sense of Wood is one that I have been waiting to try for literally over a year before I got to try it through Scentbird and it is just as lovely as I expected with top notes like sandalwood, burnt sugar, smoked sage, guiacwood, and vanilla. One of my all time favorite scents is Santal 33 and if you like that one, you would love, 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 love sandalwood and oak. It smells like a sexy, mysterious cabin in a lush forest, which is exactly my style. I'm so glad I got to finally try this perfume because now I feel really good about committing to a whole bottle and I found two other new favorites that I would have never discovered if it was not for a service like Scentbird. So make sure to click the link below to visit Scentbird's website or scan this QR code and use my code Mikey, M-Y-K-I-E, for 55% off your first month at Tempered. That makes it only about $8 for your first month, which is incredible. Oh, that's so good. Okay, back to it. Can you kill that one? Heidi will kill it. Okay. I'm gonna make her be the one. You're gonna make me do it? No. You want me to kill the light? Do you trust me? Yeah. Yeah. I know I've lied to you a lot in the past. <laughs> to get me here? <laughs> to get you here for this moment. I feel like you're proposing to me. <laughs> Proposing me to turn off the light. <laughs> Wait, wrong hand. Heidi, will you please turn off the light? Turn off the light. I don't know if I can do that. You can do it. Should because I have a spirit box instead? Okay. Look, the ghosts don't like to talk unless it's dark. If you feel something like jump behind you, it's you. Me. <laughs> it's the cat. It's the cat. Okay, ready? Meow. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, this is so scary. I'm to so me. proud of you. I'm not even scared, but this is really scary. This is a big step. I'm okay. really proud of you. Ready? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay, you can do it. 
it's fine. Yep, we can do it. We are as close to the balcony as we reasonably can be without being out on the balcony. I don't want to disturb people. We're gonna do a little brief spirit box session. Maybe we'll get to talk to some friendly ghosts, right? Friendly. How you doing right now? This is a friendly one, right? Sure. You know, I'm fine. So the spirit box is a little radio, basically, that scans through different stations. And we're supposed to ask it a question. And then I'm going to turn up the volume, give it a few seconds. And sometimes we hear an answer that seems to align very heavily with the questions that we're asking. Would you like to ask it the first question? Oh, God, no. Is there anyone with us tonight? Did you hear anything? No. I'm just... Are you okay? I'm ready for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is said that Heidi has great energy. Horses love her, scorpions love her. I'm not gonna give context for either of those, but trust me, it's true. So ghosts, if you're here, how do you feel about Heidi's energy? <laughs> Sorry. Are there any friendly ghosts with us right now? Okay, it says something. Did you hear? We've got to stop. Should we stop the spirit box? Should we stop the spirit box session? I don't know. That was a little weird. That was a little weird, right? Is the man who supposedly jumped off the balcony from the stories with us here tonight? What about down? Heidi would like to know if the hotel is haunted. So every time we do these recently, a lot of people suggest doing the Estes method where one person has headphones in and they say what they hear when someone else is asking the question. I feel like that's really easy to fake. Are there any hospital patients here with us tonight? That beep was a little hospital leave, that's about it. Oh yeah, like a beep, beep, um, beep, yeah, like a beep. hospital monitor. Okay, all right, let's go down this line of thinking. If we have a patient here with us, were you one of the 9,000 people that died here? If you're a hospital patient here, are you sick? I would have loved if it had said like, yeah, you f idiot, <laughs> at a hospital. Why else would I be here? Wait, why else would I be there? <gasps> stop, 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 no, look, really. No, look, really. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean to scare you. It just, it just, it just, it jumped to three. Yeah. Did you see it? It jumped to three and now it's, it stopped. Did you see it? Yeah. Did we have a camera on it at all? Oh, oh, it just did it again. It just did it again, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't move. Is there something with us? Oh, it blinked! It blinked! It blinked again! It blinked again! Uh, <laughs> Give me your hand. Give me your one finger. It's okay. Is there something here with us? Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. I didn't say anything. It did jump, though. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay? yeah. We love good. <laughs> um, if there's something here with us, is there anything you'd like to tell us? And it hasn't gone off again. Does it freak you out that it's right next to you? Uh, no. Yeah, but no. Do you want to switch sides? Oh god, no. I think like, like up here, up on the surface is better. It's safer than over there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever that was, were you just passing through? I know that's kind of an ironic comment to ask you because if the answer is yes, then why would you answer? But if you didn't pass through and you're just kind of hanging out, could you please say something? something. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know what it said though. Mm. I'm always bad at hearing things. Like mm -hmm. other people are really good at picking up words that I'm not good yeah. at picking up. Did you have a question for it? You were gonna ask it about my energy? Oh yeah. I don't wanna ask it though. Like, you gotta wanna talk to it? Please <laughs> don't talk to it. It might be friendly. She's trying very hard to repel the guests, remember? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, where's your holy water? Yeah, where's my holy water? Where's my <laughs> oh. Do it again, do it again. Ask it a question, ask it a question. Go, go, go. No, ask no, it. no, 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 you, you ask it, you ask it a question. I can't. Break. 
Are you okay? Oh. What, did it jump? Yep. It did? Yeah, but it might have been because he was over it. <gasps> it jumped, hey, hold on, it, 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 it jumped when I touched her. Is that a thing? It's touch her. Have Sorry. we ever? Mm. Sorry, I keep hitting your kneecaps now. <laughs> oh. It went off again. Hold on, wait, is it me? Is doing this just like creating energy? <gasps> Let me talk to it, I have a question. Do you not like when I, when I pretend hit Heidi? Imagine if it said something to that. Uh. I'd be out of here. <gasps> what? I jumped to three again. Did it? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Should I be talking to you and not the spirit box? Should I be talking to the spirit box? Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm good, yeah. You seem totally <laughs> fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I wanna see if I can get it back to it. FM. FM, no, right? Let's think real hard. Okay, I'm thinking real hard. Heidi, are you thinking real hard? Yeah, I'm thinking real hard. He's thinking the opposite of what we're thinking about. She's literally like, please, 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 please. Please, please go away, please go away, please go away. Please don't talk to the ghost. You know what's really interesting though? Anytime this has gone off in the past, it seems like it kind of stays around for a while. And mm. this feels like it's like saying like, hi, and then bye. And then hi, and then bye. And I feel like it's because Heidi is sabotaging us. Mm. No, I didn't, I, no, I have not gotten any of the things out yet. But I'm ready, if, just in case. She's wishing it well, away. they did say that these ghosts are protective, so maybe it's very... Protective <gasps> Heidi! It's like and that's literally maybe not like When you were joking and hitting my oh, knee, yeah. that's why it was like, no. And maybe it doesn't want me to scare you. <gasps> Do you not want me to scare Heidi? <laughs> what did that say in the beginning? Yeah. Sound like it might have said something. Are you protective of Heidi? Goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. It's important to say goodbye. Can we turn the lights on now? <laughs> what? Did you hear that? Yeah. The what creepy that? laugh. <laughs> it was like, ah! Stop. Mikey scanned the area with like a thermal thing to pick up on heat and cold. I was only so little. Oh, that was cool. Wow. What is that? Is it wet? Go see yeah. if it's wet. Yeah, it does feel like it might be wet. It's wet? I got yeah, all excited probably. thinking we found a ghost standing right there. That's a really obvious cold spot right in front of the elevator. There is a person shaved cold spot at the end of the hallway. Wait. Yeah. You see it? Looks like there's two people looking at each other at the end of the hallway. Do you see it? Do ghosts not travel in packs? I thought if we got closer, it would be the same relatively, but the shapes aren't there anymore. Now it looks like they're at the other end of the hallway. That's pretty spooky. Oh God. Oh God, wait. What's that mean? Oh, no, 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 you take it. I don't want to. I hear noises. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, it's gone. It's right here. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, look, 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 look. Right here, it's a three. Oh my God. There's nothing though. Pretty consistent. It's not a thing. So, is it electrical or is it just a ghost standing right in the middle of the hallway? It seems like it's electrical. Okay. Or it's standing right there. I you stand right there. No. Stand right there. You stand right there. Okay. <laughs> and when I hug you, no, you're gonna be full of ghosts. I'm literally never touching your again. Maybe you're just faulty wiring. Yeah, see, look. Oh, yeah. I think it might just be the wires. It's like just old wires. Or the yeah. ghost just like leaning against the wall, swag. Just like, that be me? Just like, hey baby. <laughs> Remember that look like there were figures at the end of the hallway? On three? Yeah. It's not like that on this hallway at all. It's just, you know, normal. Yeah. It's kind of weird. This is floor four. What the hell is that? What? Oh. oh, I don't like that. Peter, get out of my shot. <laughs> Y'all fighting for the sick shot? If you walked up on the piano and it already had fingerprints on it. Stop. That was you though. That was me. What if it wasn't me? Second floor. <laughs>
Let's go to the second floor. This is the 95 year old haunted elevator. And at the bottom of this elevator shaft is where they found Claude Harvey in 1935. Dead. Crushed. did exactly what we did normally. What we've done 12 times. Let's go to the first floor then. See if anyone called it. If a different door wasn't shut all the way, yeah. then it wouldn't have gone. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Or it's a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> I swear I just heard me out. I was gonna be, but I, I think I'm good. I, I, it sounded like it was in the hallway. Just meow. Maybe I was hearing things though. Very possible. Did you just touch that part of the bed though? Yeah. Okay. That would be very spooky otherwise. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Uh huh. Was that a cat or a baby? It was the door. Are you sure? It was the door. Wait, no, no but that's interesting. Do it again. You guys should take photos. So. First floor. I think I just heard a ghost. No. Western miners were saved from plate by a warm smile and touch from ladies of the night. We decided, because not much is happening, that we're just gonna f all the neighbors and yeah. uh, make them think it's haunted. Don't roll your eyes at me, Peter. We're good Samaritans. We're doing a. I'm doing a good thing. What was that? I think it was a human. Okay. Do you want to go find out? Not really. I think outside of doing this beer box in our room for a little bit, maybe for just a few minutes, just to see. It'd be funny if we got something there. Stop. But not in room 32. And then you have to sleep there. <laughs> These hills here had gold in them. And a whole lot of booty, if you know what I mean. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Ghost booty? Yeah. Watch your fingers. Oh god, can you imagine? Magic? That would have been a terrible way to lose them. <laughs> I feel like work here. The floor? This. Thank you, man. Good vibes, good energy. Sitting here in a closet eating a banana. <laughs> this is the beginning of Cloverfield 4. What's that? You've never seen Cloverfield? Mm-mm. <gasps> we should watch it. Is that a horror it? movie? Kind of. Yes, that's a horror movie. 
And it's not Disney Princess, it's a horror movie to me, okay? <laughs> but can we talk about that cat we heard in the hallway? <laughs> like, I heard it, and then you heard it. I heard a cat and or a baby. Cat or baby. But then Peter thought it was the door. And I still think it was the door. And then no, we I- tried it twice, it wasn't the door. And the door yeah, didn't noise. yeah, we replicated our findings, except that we didn't find it again. Deja vu, guys. What? I've trapped this before. Do you ever have that? Yeah. Are you having deja vu right now? Yeah. That's kind of weird. That is weird, right? I think it's weird. I think it means you're at the right place at the right time. You hear that, guys? Yeah. You hear that? She went from so scared to feeling like she's in the right place. Well, I'm still scared because if I'm in the right place at the right time, because it goes to Well, then that would be the right place at the wrong time. Or the wrong place at the wrong time. Double wrong. Would it be? Because you're scared. No, but. It would be great for me. It would be great for you. You're doing great. I got all my all my supplies over there. The ghost box in here. You ghost bust that door open. Think about all the supplies you bought that you didn't even use. I know. Think about the, the holy water from, Am from Amazon that I got for $10. <laughs> you can return it to Amazon. I opened it. Do you know how unholy it is to return you, holy water? I think you just put some water in it. It'll be fine. Peter, people are going to be very upset about that one. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in anyway. Oh, well. I mean, is it really from Jordan, though? Reason for return. Not sure this water's actually from Jordan. Yeah. Would you guys like to see one more spirit box session, but in room 26? Let me know in the comments right now, which is really pointless because we're just gonna do it either way. If you said no, too bad. I have a very important theory to share. What if in room 32, when we heard the spirit box say something about need to stop, what if it was telling the other spirits in the room, we need to stop talking to these three? And then they did. They stopped after that. They did. We have not found one doctor in this place. All right, Peter, conduct a spirit box session. We never see you do this work. You do it. This is a shot from a movie that has like a 3.7 on IMDb. Is there anyone here with us in this room? Dream? The YouTuber Dream? Can I like it's a drink? I thought it's a strange. I heard drink. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> drink? Like, Strange. Or it's a Rorschach test. Is there anything anyone wants to tell us? Peter, that was loud. Scanning AM. Maybe we can ask if there's any happy ghosts. Okay. okay. Do you want to ask? No. You ask. Ask something, Heidi. Oh, God. Ask okay. it. Are there any happy ghosts? I would have been so elated mm -hmm. yeah. if we just heard the tiniest little yes. What? <laughs> oh God, I didn't think about that. Why are you being so difficult? Oh, yes. Turn off. What did you hear? I couldn't tell what it said. I heard two different things. Oh. What? One's bad and one's really bad. What's that? No rest mm. and molest. I did, I heard it. I'm just saying, I yeah. heard it. I, uh, I didn't hear it. Play the tape back. I heard it. Oh, We're not giving them any rest. Yeah, no rest. Tired. Are you not talking to us because of all the shit Heidi brought with her from Amazon? <laughs> that sounds like it's a creature. <laughs> I hear preacher. Yeah. Preacher, preacher. Holy water. <laughs> Are you not talking to us because of the holy water from Jordan? What it's like? Stop. It's not wash. about the wash. It's not washed. Did you hear that? Did you yeah. Hear that? It's a loss. No, it's a wash. 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 <laughs> wait, it's funny because wait, did we bring all the stuff into this room too? Yeah. Yeah. Heidi, you are sabotaging I us. Know. <laughs> the real twist of this video is that Amazon holy water is legit. That's I hope like, that they use this as an advertisement. Yeah. Like, look, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you don't want to talk to us because Heidi brought a lot of supplies to ensure that you don't. However, could you please tell us one? Thing. God! Oh, it's that God! It's that God! I it's heard that it. God! Did I you hear it? it? I did say it. God, actually, I think. <laughs> it's Heidi's fault! Does that mean it's a demon? Does that mean you're a demon? Oh, Never gonna what? Give you up. Never gonna let you down. It did never not gonna... say that. <laughs> it said never gonna, it said never gonna something, though.
tight. Guess who's not <gasps> sleeping in this room? <laughs> You're literally protected by all your shit. I'm so happy right now. Yeah. If you guys find this footage in three years. In 2150. Yeah, like, because we've been dead for a long time. Because Heidi you survived. You said three years. Oh my god, like they, Peter. Like like why are you gonna it. die in three years? No, no, you're gonna be fine. What I'm saying is. What the f Peter? Well, that would, that would prove it, right? It'd be, it would no, be. No, don't like, say that. She... Don't say that. Don't say that. Please knock on wood, for God's sake. Jesus Christ. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. You can't say stuff like that. Could you please also protect us? Please. I heard believe. I think I'm losing my mind. I heard believe. I think, yeah, I think you're just hearing things. I it's hear. saying repent, believe, you heretic. <laughs> Do you hate me? I heard that's totally plausible. <laughs> you heard Mikey. I I am listening loud and clear. Are you a demon? What did it say? Yes. I kind of heard that. I kind of heard it too. Are there any protective spirits here? Semantics, Peter. I'm um, asking if it could please spare our lives. My God, I feel like you f***ing cursed us. You have to undo the curse, please. Heidi, use your holy water to undo whatever curse you just put on us. We, if we leave you alone now, will you leave us alone? I heard we don't. Did you hear it right away? I heard we don't. I'm hearing everything all of yeah. a sudden. I've become a savant at hearing the spirit box. Or she's hearing absolutely nothing, but her brain is processing it to whatever she wants. Because now I'm in danger, so now I need to hear things. I am so sorry. Do you accept my apology? I swear I heard, does he? Sorry, I think it's I can't telling reach me the to... straws you're grasping. <laughs> it's telling me to go to confession. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I am. I'm so sorry. Just in case, just in case, I'm really sorry. The three-year thing, Peter said he didn't mean that, and uh, I'm going to live to be 121 personally. If you got to take someone out, take out Peter. Okay? No. I heard no. You're safe. Yeah. Wait, what about me? Time for help. <laughs> Times for what? What did it say? What is it? I swear I heard time for help. <laughs> no. Someone, someone's gonna hear. Wait. Someone in the other room is gonna hear. What if it said time for hell? No. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. I'm so I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm actually I'm a little freaked out right now. Hold on. I'd see through the Red Bull or I'm really freaked out. Will you please spare me? I'm hearing so many things now. Yeah. I'm not hearing it. I I'm just heard nothing. ultimately the son of God. I heard all of that. I'm hearing everything now. She's been touched now. Uh... And not by a good thing either. Okay, listen, I need you to tell him to undo the curse. And then I need you to get something that sounds like my life is spared so mm -hmm. that I can sleep. If we have disturbed you today, it wasn't our intention. We just wanted to understand. So we are sorry. Yeah, really sorry. No, oh god, no. Please, please. Oh, okay. yes. She's like, no, Save me. Okay. Time. Please. What do, I, what do I say? Please keep Mikey safe. Ass? Mass? Ma max protection. Mass. mass. It's telling me to go to mass. Are you Catholic? Do you want us to visit the church in town tomorrow? I kind of heard a little bit of yes. Here's the thing, if something tragic happens to me soon now, everyone's gonna look at this video and be like, 
She was cursed. That shit was real. Yeah. Peter? That, Peter, why really. would you say that? Like, us three years, Heidi living old because she's protected, <laughs> sure. and then you get confirmation that you're fine and I'm screwed? <laughs> Can you sprinkle me with holy water? Sprinkle me with holy I, water. Do you want me to get this yeah. right yeah, now? Yeah, 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 sprinkle me. We gotta do that, okay. Get, let me, let me say goodbye. It's gonna, it's gonna burn your tan off. <laughs> Imagine it's like, goodbye. my child, <laughs> my child. Yeah. Goodbye. What is I heard Mary. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. I'm hearing all these religious things now. I'm done. Amazon Authentic Indian. holy water from Jordan. River. Amazon. You feel that? I do. You're spared. So we're good now, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it works, right? That is how it works. <sighs> Heidi was right. I was wrong. The ghosts favor the holy water from Amazon. They do. And I think I'm screwed. Nobody blessed Peter. <laughs> I just realized that. That's true. The demon did. Do you need to be blessed? Well, yeah. the, the ghost slash demon said that they liked Peter, so it's fine. They said they liked Peter, and I was protected, and yeah. that Mikey was just like... Odd man out. Oh, you know what? You could chug the water. Chug the holy water? You're not like chug Why does it feel wrong to ingest holy water? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to Yeah, you're water. supposed to drink it, no? We are gonna go to bed. It's 2 a.m. This is my bed for the night. And, um, I'm just gonna get under the covers like a normal human. Oh, and then there's Heidi. Ew. <laughs> In a sleeping bag on top of a perfectly good hotel bed. Good morning, something happened. Let me tell ya, I fell asleep last night. It was late, but I eventually fell asleep last night for the first time in the 17 times that we've gone ghost hunting in a way I've never fallen asleep before. I was calm, confident, brave, relaxed. Normally, I don't really ever sleep because I hear every little noise and I get a little bit in my head about every little noise. And then I woke up around 5.15 a.m. with a burrito-wrapped Heidi <laughs> in her sleeping bag, shuffling towards me at full speed, climbing into my bed. I didn't even ask. <laughs> she didn't even ask. I was in the middle of the bed, and she did not wait for me to understand what was happening. And she laid right on top of my phone, and she was just like, There's a noise over there, I'm sleep with you tonight, <laughs> Heard a noise, and then I heard it again, and I was like, all right, it's not in my head. But I jumped out of that bed so quick because the noise was coming like right next to that bed. I, I was so fast in my sleeping bag. All I hear is <laughs> Never in the history of ghost hunting on this channel has anyone ever jumped into bed with me. Really? In, yeah, no. <laughs> not once? No. She gets in bed. I'm in a daze. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to gather information. And all that I can gather at this time is I sit up, I see her frantic, I look at her bed, and I see a human-shaped mound under her covers, which I know she didn't get under. I'm in this bed, and I'm like, and my poor, confused, sleepy brain goes, if Heidi's in this bed with me, who's in her bed? <laughs> and I said that out loud, and she did not appreciate that. No, I did not. I try to go to sleep, and then like five minutes later, it dawns on me. I'm like, no, really, who is in Heidi's bed? What if ghosts aren't real, but what if shapeshifters are real? And what if that is a shapeshifter and that's not the real Heidi and it's gonna strangle me in my sleep as soon as I let my guard down? These thoughts really ran through my head. I didn't know the noise that she heard that got her to jump into my bed at five in the morning, but I couldn't sleep after that. I'm glad she could, but I was awake the rest of the night because then I'm spooked and I'm freaked out and I'm in my normal mode that I'm always in when we do these things. So I never actually did get sleep the way that I thought I was gonna get last night. And the thing is, I heard lots of little noises. I heard the elevator, I heard the radiator, I heard, you know, noises from other rooms, but there was one noise in particular that I heard that I couldn't place that was very strange. It was exactly the same noise that Heidi said got her to leap out of her bed into mine at 5 a.m. that we discussed this morning. I didn't know it at the time last night. Could you please mimic the sound? But it wasn't the radiator. It was not in that direction. It, did, it sounded like it was in this room. It was very clear. It was right next to my head. That's why I jumped over here. I was like, there is something over there. So, it's the most activity we've ever had overnight, I think. Really? Yeah, you leapt out of bed, and I thought you were a shapeshifter, and I literally- Peter's never jumped into your bed all scared? Nope, can't say he has. <laughs> I never did figure out who was in Heidi's bed, and I just decided if we die from the ghost in Heidi's bed, then I guess we die, that's it. 
God, I gotta stop saying that now that I feel like I'm cursed. What do you think? Is this place haunted? I don't know. I'm like 50-50 right now. I didn't enjoy last night's spirit box conversation, though. I I will say that. You look like you got freaked out. I did get freaked out. (laughs) When don't I? I always do eventually. Even when I'm the brave one. Thank you for coming with me. It was a joy and a pleasure for you to sabotage us the entire way. (laughs) You're welcome for the holy water. Thanks for bringing me, Mikey. So much fun. Anytime. And if you'd like to see us go to Galveston, where... Heidi only lasted 30 minutes the last time she stayed at this haunted hotel. Let us know. I'll go to her next time. It might have been 28 minutes. (laughs) It was pretty short, not gonna lie. We can break your record. We can do it. I believe in you. You lasted the whole night here. Can I bring the holy water? Please do. Mm, See you in the next place. Say your goodbyes. Bye. Sounds ominous. Bye. The spirits, quote, for the most part, are kind and some are even protective. Let's hope that's true for Heidi's sake. I don't care. Peter, you cursed me. I'm always bad at hearing things. I'm hearing everything all of a sudden. Because now I'm in danger, so now I need to hear things. I don't want to disturb people. I don't want to the neighbors. Why would you say that? Could you please also protect us? Please? I heard believe. I think I'm losing my mind. I heard believe.